The angels possess magical feathers, the most important ingredient to create the dust of dreams. With just the <laughs> dust of dreams, humans can attain anything <laughs> they desire. <gasps> Today, I must capture an angel and not make any mistakes. <laughs> Ooh, this time, Sarah won't escape my grasp. <laughs> Why is the angel Sarah being pursued? Why do humans need the dust of dreams? Stay tuned and subscribe to Woa Fairy Tales to find out more. Today's story takes place in the Evergreen Kingdom. Contrary to its name, the ecosystem here has suffered severe pollution. Humans only focus on logging and hunting mythical creatures. Unable to bear the terrible living conditions, the people of Evergreen Kingdom retreat into beautiful dreams. Well, only those who can afford it can buy the dust of dreams. Our main character is the angel Sarah. Her kind is frequently hunted by humans. Humans covet Sarah's wings because they are the only thing that can help humans escape reality. The hunter is brimming with confidence. Today, he won't return empty-handed. But lucky for Angel Sarah, she avoids a dangerous lightning bolt by stumbling upon a hidden rock. When the hunter Jepard arrives at the scene, he instinctively pauses. Before him lies the wasteland of an ancient relic, even with prey right in front of him. The Jepard doesn't dare to trespass into this difficult to enter place. The wasteland of the ancient relic used to be a lush, fertile land where humans, angels, and mythical creatures lived peacefully. Under human devastation, the once peaceful land now consists of endless sand dunes, toxic waste rivers, and mutated forests. Help! Someone, please help me! Angel Sarah spots a one-horned unicorn trapped in a magical snare and unable to move. This snare is one of the souvenirs that humans left behind in the wasteland before departing. While observing, Sarah notices that this one-horned unicorn is special. His horn is broken. Only when she's sure there's no one around, does Sarah approach to dispel the magical snare, freeing the injured unicorn. Sarah was about to leave immediately, but the unicorn didn't like that. Let me go! No? Please, let me go, or you will be harmed! Sarah always felt alone, because she was constantly hunted and anyone who befriended her suffered consequences. I want to go with you. Sarah is completely surprised. Angel Sarah has broken wings, and Sparkly, the one-horned unicorn, has a broken horn. In this wasteland, they are safer together. Plus, if Sparkly can find his horn, he can help heal Sarah's broken wings. Angel Sarah realizes that Sparkly, the one-horned unicorn, often has nightmares. She uses her magic to enter Sparkly's dreams. Here, she realizes that Sparkly is just like her. He is hunted by humans too. And he is also lonely. Understanding Sparkly's plight, Sarah embraces him and dispels his nightmares. For the first time in a long while, both Sarah and Sparkly have a peaceful sleep, but unfortunately... <laughs> <laughs> Today's my lucky day! The hunter Jepard has caught up to the two of them. This time, he has brought a magical binding rope and quickly capture Sarah and Sparkly. Suddenly, there's a strange noise in the forest. Behind the trees, pairs of eyes are watching the hunter. 
Suddenly, some monsters appear. <laughs> they overpower Jepard, rescuing Sarah and Sparkly. When Sarah and Sparkly wake up, they find themselves on a strange island. Huh? The monsters are approaching, <laughs> making Sarah and Sparkly fear for being home. <laughs> it turns out these monsters are one-eyed <laughs> octopus, peacock, and green snakes. These mythical creatures are descendants of the ancient relics inhabitants. Initially, they were just octopuses, fish, or gentle snakes. But to adapt to the toxic environment, they had to evolve. These creatures teach Sarah and Sparkly how to survive in the wasteland. The octopuses can purify dirty water into clean water. The peacock can use their tails as air purifiers. The green snakes can turn venom into sweet nectar for nutrition. While Sarah and Sparkly are enjoying getting to know their new friends, the hunter Gepard are facing hardships. He had run out of water. If you can't catch the angel, don't bother coming back. Will Jepard the hunter survive this crisis? Sometimes, villains get lucky. Jepard is rescued by a stranger. This person is Azor, a hunter specialized in the wasteland. Azor is the one who took Sparkly the one-horned unicorn's horn. Fate brings them together, and the two hunters decide to cooperate. The two hunters, Jepard and Azor, quickly find Sarah, Sparkly, and the group of friends. They launch a surprise attack, leaving everyone defenseless. Sparkly saves Sarah, but is quickly recaptured. Sarah and her three animal friends are forced to flee. Why did you take my horn? If you wanted a cure, you could have just asked me. Azor mm -hmm. hesitates and doesn't answer Sparkly's question. While Sarah and her three animal friends run away, they accidentally stumble upon an ancient relic. Inside the relic is a magical crystal flower. Sarah curiously touches the crystal flower, and suddenly, the flower shatters into dust. In the astonishment of everyone, on Sarah's hand, Five magical seals in the shape of flower petals appear. The relic unexpectedly collapses. Everyone panics, clinging to each other. Sarah unintentionally activates her new magical ability. She instantly teleports herself and her three animal friends to safety. It seems that the condition for instant teleportation is that mm. Sarah must touch the target <laughs> and have a specific destination in mind. Let's go back to rescue Sparkly. Mm. Her animal mm. friends fully agree with Sarah. They extend their hands, touching Sarah's <laughs> hand. Immediately, Sarah and her three animal friends teleport to where the two hunters are. This time, the group easily defeats the two hunters. Sarah has the power of instant teleportation and is no longer afraid of the Jepard's lightning. Her animal friends are skilled in the terrain. Quickly overpowering the two hunters and Azor and Jepard. Rescue Sparkly and regains his horn. Sarah places the horn in Sparkly and it heals as if it was never broken. The group is overjoyed for their victory, but the two hunters are not. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're not bad people. That's right, we're not bad. Then why were you chasing Sarah and me? We were just following orders. That's right. Now the human city is completely polluted. We live in hardship and can't find jobs. So that's why we became hunters. We really didn't want to hunt you. But if we didn't, our masters would punish us. 
All right, you two, stop talking. I don't believe you. Come on, Sparkly. I don't need to be at odds with them. Can you heal my wings? Thanks to Sarah's gentle persuasion, Sparkly forgives the two hunters. <laughs> he uses his unicorn magic to restore Sarah's broken wings. Actually, I have a secret. Suddenly, a huge burst of magical energy emanates from Sarah's wings, transforming the entire wasteland of the ancient relic. Trees grow lush and abundant, blooming with sweet fruit. The polluted rivers are cleansed and become clear and pure. Finally, a magical barrier is erected. From now on, no evil can trespass here anymore. Our angels have always possessed extraordinary abilities, but humans were too foolish, thinking only of grinding our feathers into dream dust. Our angels have also lived in hiding due to your greed, concealing our true power. But now, I have these good friends. I will do my best to protect them. However, I will also forgive you. Sarah extends her hand to touch the hands of the two hunters, giving each of them a flower-shaped seal. Why are you doing this? I believe there are still good people out there. Come back here when you've learned to appreciate the beauty of nature. The two hunters, Jepard and Azor, quickly depart. Sarah, Sparkly, and their animal friends live happily within the magical garden. Once upon a time, in a fairyland, there lived a beautiful and gentle fairy princess named Edna. In particular, Edna also possessed the magic of spreading the love for all living things, including humans, when she was a child, so she was loved by the people. <laughs> On her 18th birthday, Edna was given the flying bow of love in front of the magic heart of the land, with the blessing of the elder fairy, her parents, and the people of the land. Edna, this is the treasure of love. It will help you to huh? match beautiful loves in our land. <laughs> so, I hope that you can take on well the role of managing the love destiny of all things in the near future. I promise to do my best. However, while Edna was happy, <laughs> she didn't know that the shadow always watching her from behind, who was carrying evil thoughts on her big day. Well, Edna, your smile will soon fade away. <laughs> because I, Hilda, will not let you enjoy this joy and happiness for long. <laughs> As it turned out, the one who was jealous of Edna was none other than Hilda, the Fairy of Envy. Eighteen years ago, two fairies, Edna and Hilda, were born on the same day. But unlike the princess, Hilda had the dark power of envy. Although the Elder had used many methods to suck the dark aura from Hilda, it was still unsuccessful. And since then, Hilda had grown up in hate, and seen by many as a superfluous, unhelpful fairy. Therefore, her envy and jealousy were growing, especially for Edna, an elite fairy with the gift of giving love. Even though she was a fairy, Hilda silently managed to get to the place where the Dark Witch, who was sealed by the Elder in the gloomy forest a few days before her 18th birthday. Taking the opportunity that the people were busy preparing for huh? Edna's huh? birthday party, Hilda sneaked into the gloomy forest of the witch. Upon arrival, Hilda expressed her wish to throw away her powers to the witch. Dear Hilda, do you really want to give up the power of envy? It's rare to see a fairy with this amazing magic like me. Don't be friendly with me. This hateful magic has cost me enough trouble. I don't want it anymore, and I want to change this power with Princess Edna of this land. 
Therefore, I will trade everything to get more dark power from you to defeat Edna and win the power of love on the princess's 18th birthday. Seeing the dark magic radiating from Hilda, the dark witch felt amused and nodded in agreement. <laughs> okay. I'll give you the opportunity to swap the powers of the two of you if you agree to bring Edna here after you've done your job. Hmm? Is that all it takes? I am willing to accept the conditions. <laughs> after receiving a part of dark power from the Dark Witch, Hilda quietly joined Edna's party and waited for the right moment to cause trouble. <laughs> However, Hilda did not know that it was her envy that caused the magic hearts to be affected and cracked. Huh? Just like that, every day Hilda watched the princess and disrupted her work of connecting huh? love. Huh? <laughs> every couple Edna had just blessed, she silently shot them with envy magic, huh? making them hate each other and quarrel. Since then, people began to spread bad rumors about Edna. Well, Princess Edna inherently has the power of love that heaven and earth bestowed upon her. She even owns the bow of love, but she can't do anything well. Yes, the arrow she shot also cost me and my boyfriend to have disagreements with each other. It's useless! Could it be? Huh? Is there a problem with my love power? But I clearly remember that before I left, the couples were still having fun together. Besides, she's emitting a strange dark smoke, very different from my magic. No, I have to figure this out. Suspecting something shady, Edna was determined to find the person who ruined everything. This time, after giving her power of love, she deliberately lingered in the bushes and discovered that a dark force had flown towards the couple just married. Edna panicked, quickly fired magic at the sneak, and realized it was Hilda, the fairy with envy power that she had heard and accidentally met before. Hilda, why are you sabotaging my power of love and making everyone hate me so? Well, it's because your appearance and the power of love are the sources of everyone's alienation from me. You have been loved by them since you were born, and I am the opposite. That's not it. Although we can't choose our status, I believe we all have the right to choose our own way of life, and as long as you act friendly with people, they will definitely give you the opportunity to show off. <laughs> Hilda thought back to her past, and realized that she was also the one who exaggerated her feelings, so she was shown. <laughs> However, she didn't want to believe it, and denied it. No, it's not like that. I always suffer from everyone's gossip, so, for sure, I must gain the power of love and make you suffer from my current woes. Then Hilda used her dark powers to control Edna, despite her efforts to resist. Even Hilda shot mercilessly, destroying Edna's bow of love. No! Edna was heartbroken to see the bow broken, her body gradually exhausted and passed out. Well, it would be a pity to leave these fragments behind. I will put them away, hopefully when I'll use them. <laughs> Afterward, Hilda collected the fragments and brought Edna back to the Dark Witch. When Edna awoke, she found herself in the Dark Witch's house and heard a familiar voice beside her. I brought Edna here as I said. Please quickly swap our powers. Okay, let's see. However, huh? when the Dark Witch reached Edna, she quickly used her magic to restrain Hilda. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you tying me up like this? Do you think that a witch like me would keep my promise to oh. fairies? If it weren't for the fact that I could use you to get revenge on the senior, the king and the queen, I would have punished you from the moment I met you for your rudeness. Besides, you already know so much about me. I can't let you leave here. Just wait until I get the magic book and I'll take care of both of you. <laughs> Obnoxious! 
Despite Hilda's displeasure, the witch quickly left to get her things to carry out her upcoming escape plan and destroy the fairy. Huh? Hilda, now I have a way to help you get atonement and defeat her. Do you agree to work with me? Is it, is it possible? And when did you wake up? This is not important. If you agree to join forces, then give me your hand. Although Hilda half believed and half doubted, they had reached the end, so they were forced to exchange these final beliefs. Edna tried to transfer her love energy to Hilda, causing her envious power to gradually change color. However, the witch suddenly turned around and used her dark power to break the bond between the two. However, because Hilda had not yet received the full power of love, Edna was ready to cover for her. Surprised by the princess's sacrifice, Hilda unleashed the power of love and darkness around her body to shoot at the dark witch. It's too dangerous! She already has in her both the power of love and darkness. If that's the case, then I have to use this way. With that in mind, the witch pulled Edna to her side and used her to cover. Release Edna! If not, I will... Will what? Now that Edna is in my hands, you can no longer defeat me! <laughs> Hilda, hurry and attack the Dark Witch! Otherwise, I and all the people in the Fairyland will be annihilated! But Edna is the only one who doesn't abandon me when I'm in trouble and despair, so I definitely won't hurt you. As soon as she finished speaking, the pieces of the Bow of Love behind Hilda suddenly glowed, shining directly huh? at the witch, causing her to panic. Taking that opportunity, Edna ran towards Hilda and joined her forces, shooting the magic arrow at the Dark Witch. No! It can't be! Finally, with the power of unity, Edna and Hilda defeated the Dark Witch. Hilda! You see? The power of combination helped us win! That's right! Sorry, Edna. I shouldn't be so selfish and jealous of you. I should have learned to accept and be proud of my background, no matter what. It's okay, everyone makes mistakes, but it's good to know how to correct them. And then, it was the power of Edna's <laughs> love and self-acceptance that neutralized Hilda's remaining dark magic, turning huh? it into a mellow, bluish white. Huh? After that, mm. the two were happy, returned to the fairyland and discovered that the magic huh? heart was being cracked. However, huh? with the union of the two, mm. the magic heart was finally restored. <laughs> Hilda, you have grown a lot after this ordeal. It's all thanks to Edna, Princess of Love, who helped me realize this. It was you who broke your shackles and became who you are today. Hopefully, the two of us will work together in the future. From then on, with Edna's help, Hilda gradually became better and received everyone's recognition. With her great dedication, on her 19th birthday, Hilda was awarded the title by Edna and everyone in the Fairyland, the Fairy of Justice and Peace. And then together, they built a better land.